Hi everyone, this is Mohyuddin Ahmed from Singapore Maths Academy, a maths tuition specialist company. We're here for our fifth video of this 11 plus mini series. This video is all about multiplying. So we're going to look at how to multiply with one digit number uh, and how to multiply by a two digit number. And we're going to look at this for year four onwards. But if you're in year three and you're interested, you can also have a go. So the method we're going to use is the traditional, more formal method of multiplying, which is also known as a column method sometimes. And so we're going to get started by jumping onto our iPad. So here we go. So we've got a question here, 2,476 multiplied by three. So before we jump onto this, I want to make sure that we understand what multiplication really is, what it means, okay? So when we've got something a bit smaller than that, let's say, let's go into one of our apps. Let's say we've got a number like um, 2000, uh, let's say we've got something like 200, okay? 200 and what else can we have? 213. 213, that's a good one, right? So 213, we want to multiply 213 by, what should we say, by three, would that be okay? Yeah, that's a good one, right? 213 by three. So what do we do? What does it mean, actually? So we've got two lots of hundreds, 110 and three ones. We want to multiply this by three, 213 times three. And so when we put 213 times three, what we're really saying is, we want to multiply the three ones by three. And so what's three times three class? We know that, right? Three, six, nine. So three times three is nine. So 213 times three is going to be three times three, which is equal to nine, as we've said already. Add, we've got one 10 here, 10 times three, which we know, is 30 and we've got 200 here 200 times 3 which is we know 2 times 3 is 6 so 200 times 3 is only 600 apologies about my apps acting up a little bit here but we can see hopefully that 3 ones times 3 is 9 10 times 3 is 30, and 200 times 3 is 600. And if we wanted to, we can actually literally show that, okay? What do I mean by that? I mean, I can select my 200s, and I can duplicate that, and I can say, well, that's 200, and let's see, that's 200. And if I want to double that, I've got 400. And if I want to multiply by three, I can see I've got 600. Just like here, 200 times three is 600, right? And the 10, I can multiply that by three. 10 times one is 10, 10 times two is 20, 10 times three is 30. And the three ones, I can multiply by three. So I've got three times two is six, and then I'm going to multiply that again and I get three times three is nine. So you can see here that I've got nine ones, three tens, and uh, we've got 600 here. So when we add that together, we have, what do we have? 600, add 30, add the nine, we get 639. A bit like what we did in one of our other videos, right? 600 plus 30 plus nine in our place value video. So hopefully that helped you to see this much quicker than I've done it. 600 plus 30 plus nine is 639. So what we've done here is we've multiplied each place value by three in this case. So if we go back to our board and we see 2,476 times three, what we're really doing is we're multiplying each part by three. Now I'm going to take you through this in two different ways. Let me just move this across. So first method is using a broken down method, um, an extended method 
which makes it a bit easier at first. So if your child is struggling with multiplying with a single or a double digit number, this might be one method that you want to choose before they jump onto the full on um, column method. That's a bit more challenging. So what do we do here in this broken down method? This is three times six. What's three times six? Six, 12, 18, 18, right? So I'm gonna just write three times six is 18. I'm gonna actually write down 18. So this is method one. I'm gonna write down for each place value, if I multiplied that by three, what would I get? Okay, now I've got seven tens here. So I'm gonna write this down. Seven tens times three is going to be seven, 14, 20. It's 21 tens. 21 tens is written as 210. 21 tens, 210, great. Then I've got 400 here, 400 times three is 1200. How do we write 1200? 1200 is the same as 1200, right class? And finally, we've got three times 2000. So I've got my 2000s here times three is 6000. And so I've got 6,000 here. And so all together, three times 2,476 is going to be eight ones, two tens, four lots of hundreds, and 7,000. It's gonna be 7,428. So you can see here, what I've done is I've broken down each place value, the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and I've multiplied that each of them by three and then added those um, answers together to get the final answer of 7,428. So that's one way that we can use column multiplication in a slightly different way in the sense that we don't typically want to jump onto that um, uh, or we don't typically want to stay on that rather not jump onto that. We can jump onto that at first, but what we want our children to get onto, which is a more efficient way of calculating um, using column method is your standard method that we all probably have learned by now and we were taught in school ourselves, which were, is 2,476 times three. But the way we want to go through it is so that our children understand. So what did you do here? We did six times three here, which is 18, right class? So 18, so because this is the ones column, this is the ones column, right? So I can only put the ones value here. I know 18 has got eight ones, so I'm gonna write eight ones. That extra 10, I'm gonna add on at the end, okay? The extra 10, I'm gonna add on to the tens column. So now I've got three times 70, which is seven, 14, 21, 210, right? So that's gonna be 210 plus the extra 10 here, that's gonna be 220. 220, 20 is in the tens column, but the 200 is in the hundreds column. So I'm gonna add that 200 on after I multiply 400 by three. 400 times three is 1,200, right? Three times four hundreds is gonna be 1,200s. 1,200 plus the 200 is gonna be 1,400. So I'm gonna write the 400 here. 1,400 means 1,400. So I'm gonna write the 400 there, but the 1,000 is gonna go into the thousands column. So now I've got three times 2,000, which is 6,000. And 6,000 add the 1,000 is the 7,000 that we needed. We made an extra 1,000 from multiplying three times 400 and adding the 200 on, that made 1,400. Remember, 1,400 is the same as 1,400. Why is that? Because 1,400 is 10 hundred add 400. 10 hundred is a thousand. 10 lots of hundreds is a thousand. So 1400 is 10 hundred, which is a thousand, add the 400, so 1400. And that's how we get 7428. So if you're happy with that, have a go with your parents with some questions that they've got set up for you and try out how to multiply a four-digit number by a one-digit number and see how you get on.